Hello, welcome to the daily English news program on Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I'm your host, Ilham Ahmadov. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, held an expanded meeting with President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen. President Ilham Aliyev welcomed President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen. Then, an expanded meeting between President Ilham Aliyev and President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, took place. Welcome, Madam President. Very glad to see you. Thank you for coming. Your visit really underlines the importance of our bilateral cooperation. We are very glad that the relationship between the European Union and Azerbaijan developed very successfully uh, on the track of bilateral cooperation and also uh, within the framework of Eastern Partnership. And we really have very good achievements and, uh, in political development and political contacts are very active. Uh, you know that EU is our major trading partner. And I'm sure that the project which we are planning to implement in the coming years will uh, increase our trade cooperation. And of course, energy cooperation always was on top of our agenda, and today in particular. So I think we have very good results, very good uh, achievements. And after the uh, visit of uh, Madam Commissioner, uh, earlier this year, we started uh, energy dialogue. So I think that's also a very good sign of uh, mutual interest. And the issues related to energy security definitely today are on top, one of the top issues on global agenda. But not only that, we're interested in expanding cooperation in the area of education, uh, area of transportation, and in all areas, actually, what we are now discussing with respect to the uh, new agreement between EU and Azerbaijan uh, covers all areas of our potential cooperation. I'm sure that during your visit, we'll discuss this and other issues. Also, we have a very important ceremony today, yeah. which will also mark, I think, the beginning of new broad cooperation in energy. Welcome. Wish you a pleasant stay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for the warm welcome here. And uh, indeed, as you said, we have a long-standing partnership, the Eastern Partnership, but specifically with Azerbaijan, also uh, an excellent relationship that we want to deepen now. Um, if you look at the Memorandum of Understanding that we are signing today, um, I first of all really want to commend the two of us, but mainly building on an excellent work that has been done um, by our collaborators um, for achieving this uh, MOU. It puts an emphasis on a reliable partnership in the energy sector and it also looks forward towards the mid and long term um, with an emphasis on renewable energy. So it encompasses all that we are discussing in detail uh, today, but of course there's more there than the MOU, as you said, the agreement between Azerbaijan and the European Union. Uh, we just discussed with the Foreign Minister, we should give it a push now <laughs> so that we move forward. A lot to discuss and many thanks again for the warm welcome. Thank you. After the expanded meeting, a memorandum of understanding on strategic partnership in the field of energy between the Republic of Azerbaijan and the European Union, represented by the European Commission, was signed between Azerbaijan and the European Union. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, and President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, signed the document. Then, President Ilham Aliyev and President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, made press statements. Azerbaijan's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Cehun Bayramov, and Armenian Foreign Minister, Ararat Mirzoyan, took a positive step meeting in Tbilisi, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken posted on his official Twitter account. Direct dialogue is the surest path to resolving Azerbaijani and Armenian differences, the U.S. Secretary of State tweeted. 
U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for European and Eurasian Affairs, Karen Domfrint, also highly assessed the meeting of the Ministers of Foreign Affairs. According to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, during the telephone conversation with Minister Jehun Bayramov, Karen Domfrint emphasized the importance of continuing direct contacts. Foreign Minister Jehun Bayramov brought to the attention of the opposite side the well-known position of Azerbaijan on ensuring peace and progress in the region, including the opening of communications, the delimitation of the border of the two states, and the start of work on the future peace treaty, as well as the steps taken by Azerbaijan in these directions. In accordance with the combat training plan for 2022, the rocket and artillery units of the land forces fulfilled firing tasks, reported Azerbaijan's Ministry of Defense. According to the plan, the tasks of detecting and destroying enemy targets with accurate fire were fulfilled during the exercises held in conditions close to real combat. The main objectives of the exercises are improving the managerial skills of the commanders of the rocket and artillery units, increasing the knowledge and skills of servicemen, as well as planning activities during combat operations and developing interoperability with other types of troops. The Mine Action Agency cleared from mines and unexploded ordinances about 70,438 hectares of lands in 24 years. 845,180 mines and unexploded ordinances were detected. This is stated in the information released in connection with the 24-year activity of the agency. Citizens are called to be responsible and alert while in the territories liberated from the occupation. Bakusama Energy School has been launched at Ada University. 43 participants from 13 countries participated in the program organized in partnership with the state oil company. Among those involved in the summer school are professionals from energy companies, representatives of embassies and international organizations, civil servants, as well as scholars, journalists, and graduate students investigating energy and environmental problems. The main goal of the project is to convey the innovations in the region and our country in the field of energy to local and foreign experts. The participants of the summer school will also visit the smart village built in Zangilan. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.